Hey guys, so Apple has now officially released iOS 18.4 for everyone to download. So as of today, you can update your iPhone to the latest 18.4. But as per usual in this video, I wanted to go over a few things you should consider doing immediately after you update your iPhone to the latest 18.4. Now, the first thing I recommend you do is make sure that you update your Apple Watch. There's a new WatchOS update 11.4 released alongside 18.4. Now, there's a few things happening with this one. Number one, Seven new emojis are now available for the Messages application. The seven new emojis available within iOS now available for watchOS. Apple has also added robot vacuum support for the home application, and you can use Siri on your Apple Watch to use your robot vacuum. Apple has also added a new sleep-wake alarm breakthrough silent mode option. So let's go into my Apple Watch here. Let me show you what that looks like. So let's go into the sleep application here. Let's scroll down, find the uh, bedtime options right here for alarms. Let's go under sound and haptics. And right here we have a breakthrough silent mode. Now, if this is turned off, only haptics will play. But if you enable this, it will break through the silent mode and sound and haptics will play, breaking through those sleep alarms. This also works for standard alarms here within watchOS 11.4. Now, also an issue where watch face selection may become unresponsive when selecting or switching a watch face. That's also been addressed here with watchOS 11.4. So the first thing I recommend you do is make sure you update your Apple Watch. Now, something else I also recommend you do right after updating is make sure that you update your airpods apple is slowly rolling out new firmware updates for airpods and the way you update your airpods is you want to make sure that your airpods are paired to your iPhone via Bluetooth. Let them sit next to each other after you update to iOS 18.4, but make sure you connect both the iPhone and the AirPods to a power source while they sit next to each other. And this update should happen automatically in the background. So again, more information in regards to the latest AirPods firmware update in the description down below. So make sure you check that out, but make sure you also update your AirPods after updating to iOS 18.4. Now this software update also brings a fix for why Wi-Fi calling. So you want to make sure you reset Wi-Fi calling on your iPhone. So head on over into settings, go under search here, type in Wi-Fi calling. And once you do, go ahead and select Wi-Fi calling. And right here it is. You want to make sure that if it is on, turn it off and then turn it back on and re-enable Wi-Fi calling. Again, Apple is addressing an issue. And by resetting Wi-Fi calling, hopefully this will address any Wi-Fi calling issues that you may have on previous versions of iOS 18. Now, something else you may want to do is check for carrier updates. Now, oftentimes your iPhone will automatically check for carrier updates as the software is released, but sometimes these carrier bundles don't populate until a few hours later after you update. So you wanna jump into settings, head on over into general, head on over into the about section, and right here on this portion of the screen, you may see a pop-up that looks like this. So if you do have a carrier bundle update, Obviously, you want to make sure that you click update carrier settings and make sure you update those carrier settings on your device immediately after you update to 18.4. Again, just make sure you head on over into settings on your iPhone, go under general, go under the about, and a pop-up should show up right there in the center of your screen if you do have a carrier update pending. Now, something else I always recommend for all my new subscribers is make sure that you update your third-party applications. Even if you have the automatic app updates feature enabled on your iPhone, I recommend you jump into the app. App Store, you want to head on over into your account on the top right portion right here, and then you want to press and hold swipe down to refresh, and you may see new app updates available. Now, oftentimes, new app updates are available when Apple releases a new software update. In order for you to get better software compatibility with your applications, keep in mind that in the past, third-party applications are known to cause overheating and battery drain and things of that nature. So even if you have the automatic app updates enabled, I recommend you also update your third-party applications right after you update to 18.4. Now there's two additional things I recommend you do after you update to iOS 18.4. Notifications received an update with this software. So head on over into settings, go under notifications, and you'll find the new prioritize notifications features right here. And this will use on-device intelligence to analyze the content within your notifications and surface the most important apps or notifications on your lock screen. Now you can still swipe up to see all your notifications, but this will actually surface the most important notifications 
options for you. Obviously, you're going to need an Apple intelligent device here. And you see that you can manage apps individually, turning on and off the feature, or you can use the actual toggle to enable or disable it all together. Now, on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, Apple has brought the new Apple intelligence, visual intelligence capabilities to these devices. I also recommend you enable this via control center extension, just like so, or you can actually use the action button as well. So right there it is, the new visual intelligence via the action button. You can go into settings, head on over into action buttons on iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, use visual intelligence with the action button or on the lock screen with the lock screen shortcuts. And there you guys have it. These are just a few things I recommend you do immediately after you update from new settings and new options and new things you should do right after you update to 18.4. Let me know what you think about the software so far. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.